Huh, sealed door. The door is uh, tightly sealed. Huh, how the hell will we able to open this door? Assuming we need to actually open this door to continue and advance uh, into Nikolai, huh? Uh, what are these scales for? It looks like a machine for weighing things, but you need something to use uh, as a, a counterweight. We need things to use as a counterweight? Maybe uh, reading this will actually help us, uh, you know, trying to figure out uh, what the hell is going on here. If crimes weigh balances yellow, execution. Kidnapping is twice as bad as stealing. Arson is four times as bad as stealing. Murder is four times as bad as kidnapping. A three-time arsonist will be executed. Okay. Uh, if crimes uh, weigh uh, it balances yellow execution. Kidnapping is twice as bad. Okay. A stealing. Kidnapping is twice as bad as stealing. Arson is four times. Uh, four times as bad as uh, stealing. And murder is four times as bad as... Uh, as kidnapping. So that's... Uh, that's four times two. Uh, four times two. Makes it, uh, makes it, you know, uh, murder is uh, eight times uh, as bad as stealing. Three times arsonist will be executed. So, three times the arson. So, twelve times, uh, twelve, uh, uh, if you see all the twelve times, it's execution. Okay. So, that's, uh, steal, kidnap. Arson murder. It's a pair of scales. What about the yellow one here? And yellow? They said yellow is uh, execution, huh? Yellow balance is ex execution. We might actually find uh, something that we need to use here. There's a church, uh, trash, uh, a uh, chest here containing murderer's weight. Huh, let's go ahead and read uh, about it. Ah, oh, there it is. A weight uh, to measure the gravity of a murder of uh, a murderer's crime. A uh, tool of justice in ancient Rome. The murderer's weight was uh, gold. He who kills one person must pay in the uh, must pay in this world, but uh, he who kills two must pay in the next. Hmm. Which uh, was it? I think it's uh, in old Babylon. Yeah, an eye uh, for an uh, an eye uh, for an eye. An eye for an eye and what uh, all that wa all that uh, shit. What's what's it called? The uh, the Haramabi's uh, Haramabi's law. Uh, I think back in the day uh, they actually used to uh, used to do that uh, uh, eye for an eye thing. Except if you're rich, if you're rich, uh, you actually have uh, to give to the poor or something. Probably that's uh, the time uh, before ha Hammurabi's law was applied back in the day, but they reverted uh, from that. People didn't like it. <laughs> Another treasure chest here could containing uh, contains kidnapper. Kidnapper's weight. Uh, inventory and key weapons. 
uh, a way to measure the gravity of a kidnapper's crime. A tool of justice in ancient Rome, the bronze weight was for kidnapping. Uh, though a light crime, if the victim was injured, the, com the combined weight could equal murder. Hmm. What about this, uh, arsonist's, uh, weight? A way to measure the gravity of an arsonist's uh, crime. A uh, tool of justice in ancient Rome. The arsonist's weight uh, was silver, considered more serious than theft or kidnapping, because burnt property was lost forever. Hmm. Not to mention that it actually could count as an attempted murder. A thief's weight. Uh, inventory, items, thieves wait, a way to measure the gravity of uh, a thief's crime. Uh, Tool of justice in ancient Rome, weights uh, representing crimes were placed on the balance to decide punishment. The black thief's uh, weight was uh, relatively light. All right, now we have uh, all the measures that we need. So that's uh, one, two. So that uh, so the th theft equals uh, one. Let's uh, let's allow uh, theft to be equals one. Kidnapping equals two. Arsonist equals f equals four, and uh, murder equals equals eight. And by eight, I mean you know eight times uh, eight times stealing. So uh, eight times uh, the arsonist is uh, eight uh, eight times the arsonist. So that means uh, or three times the arsonist. So that means uh, that means twelve times uh, the stealing. So that's uh, eight, eight, four, two. So we can actually get murder and arson, and that's it. Eight and arson. Uh, murder and arson, and we're uh, we're gonna get it. The murder and the arson. And that uh, does it. This is uh, the logic of the. That's the logic of the uh, of the puzzle here. Pretty easy and straightforward, really. Cool, cool stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's use a tent. Why the hell not? We still we have a lot of tents. I don't think we're gonna face a boss here yet. Huh? Interesting room. Looks like a lever to move the pen. We're gonna leave it uh, down as is for now. I am really not seeing. Oh, there is a treasure chest here. Or I think I'm seeing things. Yeah, I am seeing things. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, let's try heading down from here. Oh, I thought we were gonna head down. We're not gonna head up. Uh, we're not gonna head down. We're gonna. Oh, we're going to head up. All right. Oh, I see. No, that's the puzzle here. And uh, actually, if we stand here, you can see that there's uh, a treasure chest over here. 
So we're uh, gonna try and aim and uh, get the that treasure chest and all treasure chests in this area. So let's uh, raise this uh, lever up. Huh, interesting. Alright, let's uh, head up and uh, grab uh, that treasure chest before anything else. Is this guy gonna contain the crystals? I really wonder. Uh, we get a pure extract. Definitely uh, not a bad uh, find at all. Hmm. There's uh, a lever there, but I guess uh, we'll have to uh, continue up since we cannot ac cannot access it. And another treasure chest here, containing the seal of the soul. One of these items that we're not gonna use uh, uh, just yet. Seal of the soul. Yeah, I already have two of them. All right. There's a lever here. I'm not gonna hit it right now. Oh, you can see that there's a treasure a treasure chest there. Wonder how will I be able to actually get it? There's another treasure chest here, containing hit area expand. 5,000! Hmm. This actually will lead us to somewhere else. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll have to, uh... Hit this, uh... Lever, for now. Let's, uh, lower it down. I wonder how we'll be able to actually uh, move that uh, move that uh, cage, uh, you know, in a way that we can access it. Right, let's go ahead and go down, and uh, I assume they're gonna have a way for us to access. Oh, we'll have a way to access that lever. I wonder uh, if we actually uh, head all the way down and head, it, head the lever all the way down and see if uh, there's gonna be uh, something that's gonna happen. Hmm. I really don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Hmm. Should I go hit that? Hmm. Or should I go down and hit that? Let's try hitting uh, this one for first and see what's gonna happen. Oh, put it to the middle and uh, lower it. Okay, oh, that's definitely interesting. Uh, yeah, let's lower it to the middle. Let's see. So what did that do? Nothing in particular, I believe. It moved this one, right? Let's try lowering, lowering it uh, all the way down. I assume I'm gonna be able to, to get that. Yeah. I think that's the way for me to, to actually get that... Uh, treasure chest is... Uh, by going all the way down and pick it up uh, from there. I assume. Uh, yes! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give and we finally managed to get uh, the, uh, the last Chris uh, here in uh, Apuena Tower. The Paimon Chris. Alright! Alrighty, righty, righty. Let's uh, go ahead and check it out.
Is it Paimon or Paimon? Well, it starts with the letter P, so... Did I miss it? I think I missed it. Oh, there it is. It's Evil Ray and Evil Born. Nice. That's good. That's good. It's really good uh, magic spell. Uh, I want to go ahead and do a quick check here. So we have 10 hits here, which is good. Seven hits. I think the max hit that I can get is uh, is definitely ten with the uh, with the Gale Spark, which uh, it's a, it is a good spell, by the way. Not a good not a good spell if you uh, if you want to combo with it. If you can if you want to initiate a combo with it, it's uh, it's the it's the better one. It's probably the the best one. Uh, but if you actually wanna, if you wanna continue comboing, it's probably uh, gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a bright crime, which I do have. I still, I think I have, I have it on, uh, on Jibeto, right? No, you do not. You do not. Interesting. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think I can uh, continue anything with uh, with the newly acquired uh, spell, right? That's me. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can't complete this actually. Sh should we? Should we actually do that? Uh, just m let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we actually can. Let me go ahead and complete it. Uh, I'm gonna uh, complete it once I reach. Uh, uh, a save point. Because I don't... Uh, we don't want to get distracted here. So yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, let's go all the way up. And I think uh, the path should be open for us. I need to, to, to hit the, the lever behind me, I think. Probably. Hit this lever to the top uh, level. And I think this should work for us. So we can get to, uh, yeah, to the, uh, to the uh, next floor. All right, we've done it. Oh, hey, all right. Now we're uh, in the top of uh, a point of tower. This is a definitely familiar uh, place. And here we find a tent, huh? Did I actually miss this tent uh, from the first time? <laughs> I really uh, have no idea. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue building uh, uh, this section of the book. 
So, Agaris appears as an old wise man with uh, withered legs, lives by the sea and rides uh, crocodiles when traveling. Holy hell! <laughs> Master of Morphing. That's cool. Lives by the sea. By the sea, so I assume he assume he's actually here. Cause that's the nearest uh, place in the sea. That's actually a big huge question mark if we if it's gonna be here or not. By the sea, by the sea. Of course we can zoom out to check that out. Oh yeah, let's put in here uh, let's put him here uh, at the beginning. Appear, uh, that's uh, Cameo. Appears as a small uh, jet black bird. Lives beside the forest of passion. Uh, hating uh, gloomy things. He stays away from the boneyard. Near the forest of passion. Which is definitely this one. Uh, Paimon. Appears as a majestic king with vessels. Can grant humans uh, knowledge. Travels by camel and lives uh, in the desert. Lives in the desert. Uh, it's really either this... This one or this one. Or even this one too. Hmm. I'll put him here for now. Uh, Barbatus. A knight leading soldier, very masterful and always afraid of attack, lives with his soldiers in his uh, solid tower by the woods. Solid tower by the woods. That's a tower. Phoenix appears as a phoenix. He prefers dry places because of the flames that surround him. Lives near his friend uh, Cameo, also a bird. Cameo? This is Cameo. So Phoenix should be here. Dry places because of the flames. Yeah, I guess that counts as a dry place. Because I am a little bit nearer the, des the desert. Porson. A muscular man with a lion's head. Lives in the mansion in the middle of the hill. He and his neighbor Phoenix visit uh, each other. I guess uh, that's it. That's uh, the mansion, right? Well, uh, up top uh, definitely looks like a mansion too, right? I mean, what do you call this one here? Is it a mansion or? This also looks uh, like a mansion. Hmm. We're gonna change things uh, if it's uh, actually required. Marcosius, a wolf with the eagle wings and serpent uh, and uh, serpent tail, uh, warlike and dumb, lives near a uh, friend uh, Paimon, but uh, near the boneyard to avoid the the heat. Near Paimon, huh? But near the boneyard. So yeah, I guess uh, this is where I, I should uh, put him, right? And Phoenix should be here with uh, what? Person probably here, here possibly, and Raum, a giant crow with talons, dripping blood. The beat of his wings causes earthquakes. He likes uh, the forest uh, demons and lives nearby. Forest demons and lives nearby. I don't think that's correct. So, huh? Uh, so probably here, right? Huh. 
Huh. Let's do this again. A giant crow with talons dripping blood. Uh, the beat of his wings causes earthquake. He likes the forest demons and lives nearby. So, let's assume that this guy actually lives here. Alright, and let's uh, replace this guy here. Marcosius, a wolf with eagle wings and serpent tail, warlike and dumb. Lives near a uh, friend Paimon, but near the boneyard to avoid the heat. Uh, Paimon, where's Paimon? Paimon's here, so I think uh, you should be here, right? And Paimon! Travels by camel and lives uh, in the desert. In the desert, there's there are no deserts here, though. First dry praises because of the flames that surrounds him. Your cameo. That's not it. Mm. I want to remove everything. Just you know, you know, to uh, so I don't get confused. And these are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Yeah, it's eight, it's not nine. So, let's try this again. Appears as an old wise man with the withered legs, lives by the sea, and rides crocodiles. Master Morphe. By the sea. So, I'm gonna assume that he lives here. Uh. Appears a small jet black lives beside the force of passion. Hating gloomy things and stays away from the bony yard. So away from the bony yard. Force of passion. And away from the bony yard. Doesn't that make him? It's uh, it actually makes him like the, that he lives in uh, near the tower. So I'm gonna assume that he's gonna live here. That's Camille, right? So the first stage and stays away from the void. Uh, appears as a majestic king with a vessel can grant humans knowledge. Travels by camel. Lives near the desert. Lives in the desert, actually. Uh, so that actually makes it uh, the nearest place to the desert, right? It's definitely the nearest place to the desert. Barbara says, A knight leading a soldier is very ma mistrustful and always uh, afraid of attack. Lives with his soldiers in the solid tower by the woods. That's a sword tower. Phoenix appears as a phoenix. He prefers dry places because of the flames that surround him. Uh, live, live near his friend uh, Cameo. Also a bird. So that means that he actually resides here. Muscular. A uh, person is a muscular man with a lion's head lives in the mansion the middle of the hill. So this is a mansion middle of the hill, that's a hell. Right? Oh but uh, the whole area is called Forsaken Hell, so that's the middle of the hell. A wolf with eagle wings, blah blah blah, lives near friend Paimon.
climb on, but near the boneyard to avoid uh, the heat. So where the hell do you actually live? So you're probably since uh, Phoenix runs. So uh, you pr probably actually live here, right? And Drom, uh, he lives. Uh, he likes the forest. Uh, Forest uh, demons that lives nearby. Forest demons and lives nearby. Huh. So he likes the forest demons. Lives nearby. Which one of the uh, of these that actually lives near the? Uh... From the bony art. Oh, that's the boneyard. Okay, the eternal boneyard. Okay, I get it now. So he should be. Uh... So yeah, that actually makes him. Uh, that's uh, the best place for him because that's the farthest away from the boneyard, right? Many things he says away from the boneyard. Travels by the camel. Pie man. But near the boneyard to avoid the heat. Okay. So, uh, I think you actually live here, right? And you live here. And there's a friend Cameo, also bird. Cameo? Where is Cameo? So you should be here. And you should be here. No. Where's the passion? So that makes you actually live here. And you over here? Yes! We got it! All the Forsaken uh, Hill Crests are in their correct positions. Dark Resist Evil Summoning has been added to Paimon. Meh. 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 Evilborn has been uh, newly added to Realm. Meh. Rockstorm has been added uh, to Agaris. Alright. Which one was it? Was one of the Chris that actually uh, did something really great? Uh, go ahead and check it out real, real, real uh, quick. Uh, Chris changes. Yeah, the evil summoning. Oh, hell yeah, 64. That's tier 3, huh? So that's... That's 20, that's not tier uh, f 3, that's actually tier 4. The Asmodeus. That's really cool. 
It can be actually much better than this? Holy hell. That's really cool. And that is uh, circular and medium, which, uh, hmm. That's not interesting. This is Cameo with Vox Storm. Rockrot. I'll probably give one of these, uh... Yeah, I'll probably distribute these, uh... These crests to, uh... To a stupid ass, uh, Anastasia. Uh, in the... in the future. Alright, we actually got it! We got it. We uh, we managed to uh, to assign all of the uh, uh, the crests for now. And what's left, viewers, is uh, pretty much uh, uh, the battle against Nikolai, and we are ready. All right. It is time you go. And, uh, see, uh, what's the deal with uh, Nikolai? What is he up to? Nikolai! Well, it's been a long time. Rasputin is dead now. Yes, I know. But what of it? He was never your true enemy anyway. Huh. Nikolai, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you after? <laughs> uh. This vault is filled to overflowing with the hatred, malice, and despair of the countless souls who have perished here. What if all that malice were to be suddenly released? Yeah, what if? It would creep into the hearts of people all over the world. Okay. All the petty, paltry vices would become magnified, warped into bitterness, anger, and envy. Don't you see? Men will slaughter each other like cattle to get ahead. Yes, the 21st century will be a time of unprecedented conflict and bloodshed. Wait, you are the cause <laughs> of World War One? God damn. <laughs> it is canon. This is history. Nikolai caused the World War One. What I want to do is to crush you. The man who beat Cardinal Albert Simon. Who endured the mistletoe's curse. Who refused to bend before Rasputin? If I can't destroy you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Uh, I still don't understand the purpose uh, of why you're doing this. Aren't they beautiful? Perfect balls of negative energy. God Slayer, Pandora's box has been reopened. These unfettered bundles of malice will infect the world forever! Uh... <laughs> you can try your best, but no matter how much you fight, the Age of Darkness is nigh! He did re something Best really come. bad. For boss fight time! Against Nikolai as Astaroth with badass music. I like this uh, soundtrack, by the way. It is too good. Uh, yes, I guess I'll have to uh, power up your special attacks for now. Nice. 
soon. Goddamn, uh, you're invisible. This is gonna actually affect uh, his uh, attack output, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't use a tent, huh? I really didn't use a tent. It's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and hit him with the with the best stuff. And uh, yeah, by the way, viewers, he's uh, actually non-elemental. He's not, uh, you know, light elemental as he uh, as his character, you know, uh, used to when we actually uh, were controlling him. Ah. Yeah, he can hit, hit, hit us with a with a really, really uh, strong stuff. This is a, a tier four uh, spell here. Mm. Yeah, well, I'll have to attack with Yuri. We'll have to go. Attack physically here with physical attacks, no with physical attacks. Uh square. Gibetto. Uh or uh, sorry, Joaquin. Evil Christ again. Nice suit. It's gonna hit hard. It does a lot of damage. Holy hell! Almost a thousand. Now I I, get, I think I could have uh, went for a thousand, but the pro uh, the uh, there was a problem with uh, with goddamn. Uh... Oh no! This is not what I wanted to do. <gasps> I am screwed. Well, yeah, I'm still screwed. All of Agent, he's not gonna go do uh, physical attacks. I don't think so. This is barrier. Only Anastasia can uh, counter that, unfortunately. It's not that big of a deal. I will attack normally. I'm really doing a terrible job at this, <laughs> at this uh, uh, fight. Wall splat. I need you, uh, lady, to heal uh, up. Uh, 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 to heal herself. Just for you. I think he w hits uh, one uh, one eighty max meteor fall. Oh god, a uh, Gibetto? Yeah, he knows uh, Gibetto is too good. That's why he's targeting him. Uh, so we're okay. We're still okay. Uh, combo with Joaquim. Combo with uh, Joaquim. Initiate attack. Actually, should uh, use his, uh, his special attack since uh, his physical attacks are kind of trash in this uh, in this form. Evil crest again. This hits hard. Oh, we could have uh, done much more damage than this, but hey. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Gibetos, uh a boot. 
mana root, yeah. Nice. Evasion, uh, double evasion definitely worked here. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's heal, uh, let's, uh, heal Gibetto up. Arc, uh, cure? Yeah, I think Arc cure should, uh... Oh, no, uh, I'm sorry, cure plus. Just for you. Joaquim. Normal attacks. Circle. Could have done much more than this, but hey. Ah, I am trash. Meteor Hall. On who? Okay, we can uh, power up uh, physical attacks. No, uh, magical attacks. Again. Nice. We're gonna combo with Gebetto, and Gebetto should unleash uh, Armageddon with Evil Crist. Nice Square! Triangle. Uh, I should hit him with the magic. Hmm. Uh, I could have uh, done much better with the uh, physical attack. Okay. Oh, he hits uh, for a uh, 200. Goddamn. All right. We definitely need the uh, cure plus for yourself. Just for you. He's about to die. Nice, Sue. X. Die? Yes! Well, we've done it. I'm really not satisfied with this battle. Even though I, uh, I think I'm really, uh, like, I'm really much stronger. I mean, that spell from, uh, Jibero, Evil Chris, holy hell, it does a lot of damage. Alright, from after this battle, we get Galahad's sword, uh, Nik Nikolai's sword, and Delay 2. Uh, shit ton of experience and shit ton of cash. Well, I guess that's it, then, huh? I mean, there are no other enemies that we've... that are actu actually threatening us, and we've been in all of them. I guess this is the end, huh? Uh, Kato? What the hell are you doing? Kato? Oh! You're helping us! Alright, nice! Whew. Yo, sometimes, yeah, video games uh, do... Do stupid things like that, you know. Turn people uh, on each other at the last moment. 
But th this is uh, not one of them, huh? This game is not one of them. Kato. In the name of the Emperor, I'm taking this man under my protection. Or is it? I do not wish to fight you. Please leave. What the hell? Kato! No way. What the hell are you doing? If this man is truly next in line to the Tsardom of Russia, then as an allied country, we cannot simply let you kill him. Wait, what? He's the next in line? He's... he's not! Do you have any idea what those are going to do? It was you who let it happen. Huh? No, we didn't! The malice is already invading the people's hearts. It's too late for them. Taking this person's life is not going to change anything. Stay out of this. What the? Yuri! Holy! What? I'm going back to the capital. Your war is over now. Oh. Look for another way to live. When the hell did Kato become that strong? And who the hell are these guys? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Yeah, in the first half, my ass. Uh, as I said before, viewers, this is, uh, even though it's actually, may, uh, the game might actually say that this is actually the first half, uh, it's not the first half, it's just the first disc, but the, the, the second disc is not gonna take us that long. It, it, it is gonna be long, but it's not gonna be long, you know, in terms of narrative as the... This, as the first disc. Uh, well, I'll probably say that it's actually probably uh, more or less like in uh, 40, 40, 40, if maybe maximum of 45% of, uh, of what, uh, even less, no, I think it's 40, uh, approximately 40% of what uh, uh, the first disc uh, offered us, at least in terms of story and narrative. But what the hell is going on? What the hell is... What the hell is up with Kato? Uh, how the hell did he become so strong? And why the hell is, is he opposing us? After all... What happened? What the hell?